Hello guys, we're back with the 2001 Volkswagen Jetta. Okay, first thing I'm going to tell you about is uh, we got the tires off. Things that we're going to do, you don't really need to pull these tires off and you don't have to put it on jack stands. This car hasn't been looked at in a little while, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to be able to look all the way around as much as I can and also give you a little bit better shot what we're going to be doing also. Let me show you what we got so far. If you remember, we had a, uh, we had a lean code and we also had a uh, code where the secondary air pump was uh, flow not detected. Now here I've just taken and removed the inspection cover. It's just like five bolts. There's no big deal on that. I've went ahead and marked my spark plug uh, cylinders here. The back cylinders are odd numbered. I got one here, three, five, and up here on the front we got two, four, six. Over here, I did the same thing with the spark plug wires. I just put a piece of masking tape and marked on the cylinders where they went to. So now, as you can see, it's still, this, this engine, as I mentioned before, is buried in here. Now the air pump, combi valve, most of those items, everything is, is right down in here. You cannot get to it. There's no access to it. So what I'm looking here is I'm going to pull this whole assembly out. And this here assembly... This by Volkswagen is called a lock carrier. It is nothing no more than radiator support. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to start pulling this stuff out. We're going to, you know, get access down here. Now, once we get access here, then I can go through the whole thing here. We can test it out. You can see everything better. And uh, also, I did a little quick preliminary uh, looking at the vacuum line since we had a lean code, so it's right here. So I just kind of looked at it. So, just want to show you a couple of things that I found right off the bat. Now, if I found them on my, on this engine here, then you're going to have them also. One of the first things I saw is looking back here. This here, this here plastic line that goes down here to this here brake booster has got a split. Now, you can't, you can't really see it, but it's right there. That's where my finger's at. It goes from there and it goes all the way back. Maybe if I turn it a little bit, you could see it. I can see the top of it split there. Okay, another split here. This here tubing right here. Well, if you look at it, right on the inside. If you open it up, you look right there. So this here is dry rotted. Now I've already seen that uh, with just this here inspection looking over. I didn't see anything else obvious, but later on I'm going to do a smoke test on all of this here whole vacuum system. Now one more thing I want to mention. Once we remove this battery cable, I've seen no procedure here that you can do a test on here to go through a procedure, you know, as I mentioned, warming it up and put it in gear for a few seconds and turn on the air conditioner. What they show is that you actually have a scanner that will actually teach and put these values back in there into the computer. Now, I've had this here battery cable disconnected before, I didn't ever use a scanner, so there was no issues on that. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this here battery cable. Now, I just wanted you guys to keep that in mind if there was some kind of idle issue problems later for you. If you uh, feel like you might have an issue, you might want to just keep your battery cable on there. But for safety's sake and pulling this much stuff off, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to disconnect this cable. And the last thing about disconnecting this here battery that this here car has a four digit pin code that you have to enter into the radio so if you do not know if you have a car of this vintage and you do not know what your VIN number is then do not disconnect this battery otherwise you're going to lose that radio and then you're going to have to go to the dealer you're going to have to give them the serial number and all this other stuff so just keep that in mind all right first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to disconnect this here dc negative off of this here off of this here battery. And let's get that joker tucked out of the way. We'll make sure he's not going to fly back up on there and get back to that cable. Uh, if you love working with uh, plastic uh, clips, plastic tabs, you're going to get uh, you're going to get your shot of them when we start pulling this here front off. Now, if you um, if you don't break the first thing off, then uh, don't feel discouraged because you'll get a chance on a lot more than it's going to come up. So you can, you'll have your shot of breaking something off of here. Well, let's hope. Now, the first thing we're going to do is if you look right down here on this here hood latch, 
we need to get this here we need to get this here assembly out we need to get this here pulled out now take a look down here you can see that there is a there is a clip a metal clip running across this here fork one side connects down over here one side is going down here so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to take this here L-shaped pick and I'm going to go up underneath here and you see I got one side there I'm just lifting up on it and then let's see if we can lift that side all right you see how that's separated now okay now once you get your clip up get you a pair of snap ring pliers set them up so that when you squeeze the handles it's going to open up now hopefully we can get in there to get to this thing It'll give me a little bit of light right over here so I can see now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to put it right on each side of this here fork and we're trying to open this thing up without it breaking Okay, I've got one side out. Take note, this is what you got. This is how it's gonna come back, go back in. Okay, now that we got that hood latch out of there, just wanna show you what this is gonna look like. Here's that spring clip, okay? This is just show you what you gotta be working with, all right? And that's the way it was on, just like this right there. This part more to the right. And then the pin is coming through right there through that big hole there. Now here's the pin. Okay, let me get it up there close so you can see it. All right. Okay, next step, we're gonna take this here left and this here right outer uh, air grills out. Now you can see somebody else has been here before me and uh, probably broke a clip, put it in, and then this thing fell out. Well, let's go over here to this one. It looks like what you should do is grab, get your hands up here and there'll be a couple of clips up here at the top and there'll be a couple of tabs here probably at the bottom holding it in so get up in here push down well, let's start right over here all right that's one now let's get over there okay now look at here see this here's another thing where plastic tab is broken off so now you can see how this thing is in there now if you look down at the bottom now you can get a correlation of how this thing is. Okay, I'm on the left side. Now we're going to take out these four T20 bolts. There's one. There's number two. There's number three. And there's number four. Okay, again, on the passenger side of the car, repeat the process for the four bolts on the uh, splash shield. And there was again a T20, so go ahead and take those four out. You see this black piece right here that's running across over top of this grill? Okay, if you come back in here, take your hand and just kind of, maybe even have to put a screwdriver in there. See how it's got this little pin right here? This pin is stuck and going back up in this hole. So let's see if we can go on down here. And let's do the same. Should be able to do the same down here on this end. Let's hope so. Okay, he popped out. Got the same kind of setup right here. Okay. Okay, so you just saw it. look right here. Here's a tab. See this tab? Take that tab, push it, push it down a little bit, and then it'll pop right out. Okay, so we have these little two plastic, I guess you could say plastic pins, more or less. That's in here. And the other one is over here. Okay. And then the rest of it just sits sits right down in there. Okay. So everything on the bottom is just tabs, is just mounting tabs. So the only thing that's holding this is this one, this one, and this one. These three places. 
Okay, if you haven't figured out what objective is, we're looking to get this here plastic uh, bumper cover off. Okay, now what we're going to do for the next step is we're going to have seven bolts. These are T30. I'm going to point them out to you. There's one right here. All right. Come up here. You see there's one right here. There's one right here. There's one on the end. There's one up here. Okay. That's five. If you come down to the inner and outer air grills, if you look right up here, you see there's one right here. See how it's mounted in the plastic bumper cover? So we have that one to take out. And we got one down here on this side also. So we're going to work on those. All right, so let's get this one here. We'll get that one, one in the middle. Got one down on the end here. And then we got one up here on the top. Okay, now I'm just coming down here to the grill. See that one right, right there. Okay. Then we got one down here on this side. So, and you can see where that one's at. Okay. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next shot. So that's the bolts I'm going to be taking out. Okay, I just want to give you the shot of those seven bolts that we just took out. Just so you can get an idea what they look like. They're all the same, by the way. Same length, same size. Alright, now we're going to get ready to slide this bumper back. Alright, it should be like a plastic little track for this thing to slide on. Okay. Remember, you still have your... Uh, Electrical connections for your bulbs and everything is still intact, so keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do, this one right here, let's go ahead and disconnect this one. Okay. On that, what it does, no twisting on this one. Just pull it straight out. Okay. So it snaps on, so just grab it and pull it straight out. It's got a pretty snug there. Okay. So there you go on that. So you can get a color of the wires. All right. Okay, now you're gonna have this connector here that's on the driver's side. Take your small screwdriver. Come in from the top. Kind of lift it. Lift it back a little bit while you hold it back. Just lift it straight up. Okay, you'll have one, one more connector for the light that was just like this here. You pull it straight out, and now your bumper cover will be out. Okay, now you're going to have a styrofoam insert that's right behind your bumper cover. I'm not quite sure if this needs to come off, but just to protect it in case it doesn't get nicked, broke, or whatever, I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. Okay. Guys, where we're at right now, I think I'm going to close this video well. Uh, I want to keep these here videos bite sized for you guys. I don't want y'all to be taking big gulps of information here and get bored. So we're just going to uh, continue the process and the next video we'll continue on and uh, you know get this here while carrying back. So y'all guys stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the next video.